Good morning everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to be doing a pretty simple video about something that most people probably don't even think about in their AR-15s, but we're actually going to be taking a look at it because it's something that I decided to upgrade in one of my AR-15s and I actually really really liked it so I actually bought a couple of them. And we are of course going to be talking about the difference between a regular carbine spring, this is just a mil-spec carbine spring for your AR-15, and this is the Strike Industries flat wire carbine spring. So now as you can tell, pretty obvious distance right off the bat is the flat wire spring is obviously made a little bit differently first off it's flat it's also about two inches longer which gives it a little bit different compression a different spring rate if you will which is going to change your cyclic rate and in my opinion because it has that extra tension on the beginning of the the bolt carrier so right off the bat it's going to have a little bit more tension it's going to have an overall more smooth feel when you're firing it and as you'll see in the video there is actually a pretty obvious difference between the flat wire carbine uh, spring and the mil spec carbine spring so the strike industries flat wire carbine carbine spring is about $20-$25 dollars online depending on where you're getting it, which is a little expensive, you know, depending on uh, your kind of mindset about spending 20 bucks on a spring for your AR-15, um, but if you're at the level where you really like everything about your AR-15 and you're just looking to maybe upgrade it in a different way, maybe make it a little bit more smooth, uh, maybe have a little bit nicer recoil impulse, but you don't want to spend $80 on a JP Enterprises um, silent spring system or a kin shot uh, or anything like that, that's going to be, you know, over $100 or close to $100 anyways, this guy here for 20 bucks is not a bad option. So that's about all I need to say right now. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the actual footage, and uh, it'll be pretty obvious to tell which one is which, actually. I didn't think that it would be that big of a deal or, if, or it would actually make that big of a difference, but you can actually tell the difference on screen. Both guns that I'm shooting, uh, it's two different lowers, one that has the mil-spec uh, carbine spring in it and one that has the uh, Strike Industries flat wire spring in it, of course. Um, now, the same upper, the same upper, it's my 16-inch upper, it had a compensator on it. I did some shooting with a compensator, some shooting without a compensator, and then w with the different uh, lowers on it, of course, that had the different springs, um, just to kind of see what the difference is. Now, the lowers are slightly different. One's a polymer lower, but it has a really thick aluminum end plate on it, so they're about the same weight. They are a dip little bit different length of pull so it's not a hundred percent apples to apples but they're about the same weight and but what you what you really want to be paying attention to is how does the rifle itself recoil and you can actually see that in the video with some of the slow-mo shots and some of the regular shots that the strike industries flat wire spring provides a much more consistent feel and because of its higher quality and different cyclic rate um, it actually makes for a much nicer shooting experience or maybe not a much nicer shooting experience but you will certainly notice it as I did so without any further ado let's go ahead and watch that now a lot smoother and it has a much smoother recoil impulse just because of the way that it interacts with bolt, the bolt carrier group and how it slows it down and shoves it back and I think a lot of that actually has to do with the higher quality material this guy here for instance is 17.4 uh, precipitation hardened stainless steel material that's been like cryogenically uh, freeze tempered or something like that to make it really good whereas this guy here the mil spec spring is just your fairly standard stainless steel spring and it is going to have a much different feel and I mean just just by testing it you can feel that there's a huge amount of difference in the way that it recoils. For instance, just right off the bat, this guy here is going to be much tougher right off the bat, and it's going to get much harder, much faster, whereas this guy here, because it has that extra length, and it's kind of already pre-coiled, it's very soft in the, in the beginning, and then gets hard very quickly, and then gets to expand back out, and then gets soft again at the end. So it's going to slowly speed up, 
and then slowly slow down again. So it's not going to be quite a hammer back and then hammer forward, it's just going to try and even that out a little bit, which again, a bolt carry group is one of the heavier components in your gun and is what causes most of the recoil. So if you can slow that down a little bit, not necessarily slowing down the cyclic rate of the gun, but slow down, make it a little bit more smooth, you are going to have a smoother shooting experience overall. Now, if you handed this gun, one with a uh, Strike Industries flat wire spring, and one with just a mil spec spring, someone who hasn't really practiced that that much or wasn't really familiar with that rifle, could they tell? Probably not. Uh, even in a side-by-side -side comparison, they might know that something's a little bit different. They might pick up on that a little bit. But if you're someone who's very familiar with the way that your specific rifle shoots, for instance, on that rifle and that upper, I put around 2,000 rounds to it, so I'm very familiar with how it shoots, even with a different compensator on it. Uh, and so putting on that recoil spring really did actually change the way that the gun functions. Not a huge amount, but it is definitely an improvement, and you gotta remember that it's only $20. Now, a lot of people who try and kind of smooth out that recoil impulse of their gun, one of their first things to go through is an adjustable gas block which is actually a lot more expensive it's a little bit more difficult to set up and it can be a little bit finicky more finicky however this recoil spring you just pop it in you forget about it and it works really well and it's only 20 to 25 dollars depending on where you get it and now another thing to mention is that both rifles were of course using the exact same just your basic carbine buffer nothing special there and now this guy here is something that i might play around with maybe put in a heavy buffer or something else and kind of see how that reacts with the gun maybe i'll make another video about that later on but for right now um i really do like the strike industry spring and i think that that's why i actually did end up buying a couple and putting them in a couple of my guns because they work really really well for only being about 20 to 25 dollars they're incredibly simple to set up and there's not a lot of reason not to have one i mean because again they're very cheap and very easy to set up and they do improve the recoil impulse of your gun just a little bit and enough to notice which is really nice so if you're someone who wants to improve the way that your gun shoots a little bit and makes it a little bit more smooth but you don't have all that much time or money to sink into it to play with it and to find out what really works for you um the strike industries flat wire spring is really easy to install it's very cheap and it's pretty effective for what it is so that's pretty much it for the video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i will see you guys in the next one and as always tell me what you guys think down below and i will see you later peace off hey you yeah you what are you still doing here the video's over wait wait wait, wait. why are you still here like share and subscribe or don't the choice is yours but if you do subscribe thanks and i like pizza peace off